Palmer. It's so good to have you here with me on tonight's show, especially as we are joined by Denise Waterman uh, from the group Tight Fit. And here is what happened when I caught up with her. Denise, it is great to have you here on the show. How are you? Thank you for having me. I am very, very pleased to be here. Oh, it's a real pleasure. And I wanted to get you on the show because I know that you are also uh, a presenter on Spotlight at the Memory Lane 70 show. I am. Um, secret being that I actually wanted the 80s, but I have <laughs> found a renewed life. I didn't realise I love the 70s music so, so much. much fun. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and a big shout out to Phil. Ian, Bridget, the whole gang down at Spotlight, because honestly, for people watching, they are the best. Um, it's like having a second family, isn't it, Denise? They are absolutely the family you never knew you needed. I know, I love going down there. I go and visit them about once a month and um, I have a, a Baileys and cake and biscuits. I come out about a stone heavier, actually, but it's always a brilliant time. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a word with them because they've never, ever offered me any Baileys. Cake? Yes. No. No Baileys. <laughs> Oh, watch this space. We, um, I know apart from uh, presenting, you also do a bit of everything, really, like acting and modelling, don't you? Well, um, I've actually got about five different husbands I work with and none of them are real. <laughs> and that's the best sort because you can give them back. Um, yeah, exactly. Perfect. I kind of bluff my way through lots of things, but the only thing I'm totally, totally confident with is presenting but I have a go at anything and pretend I can do it anyway so well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh no it's fabulous. So we're gonna go into Lion Sleeps tonight. Classic. I mean you guys shot to fame with this in 1982. I mean this happened really quickly for you didn't it Denise? It did. I mean one minute we were at an audition with you know 40 girls and 20 or so guys and we were being whittled down, being picked to see who matched each other. Um, obviously, they already had four people in Bucks Fizz and four people in ABBA. How could they make it different? Ah, we'll have a three-man group. So it ended up with Julie, Steve and I. And um, the other boy that was left at the end of the audition day was actually my brother. No. So if it hadn't been Steve, it would have been him. Oh, wow. And did you ever realise that Lion Sleeps Tonight would have so much success, even still today? Actually, we didn't have a clue what we were even auditioning for, to be honest. Um, and when we were thrown to the lines, if you excuse the pun, on that first time <laughs> we went into Top of the Pops, it was, oh my goodness, it was like being in another world. Um, yeah, and then yeah. people started asking for our autographs. And you know, yeah. before we knew it, we were on tour with Paul Young and the Q-Tips. And wow. Paul Young was our backing singer. When we heard him sing, we nearly walked out the other way. <laughs> Wonderful. What great memories. So we're going to play out uh, Lion Sleeps tonight right now from 1982. Enjoy this and I'll be catching up with Denise on the other side. <laughs> now I want to rewind, Denise, how everything started for you. Because am I right in saying that you went to Italia Conte? I did, but I also went to Barbara Speaks Stage School before that. Oh, yeah. Um, ah. My parents were professional singers and both my brothers are in the business as well. However, my older brothers died sadly, so obviously he's no longer in it. But my younger brother's director now and a writer. And um, so from the age of seven onwards, all I've ever known is this business. So it's no wonder I've been bluffing for such a long time. So music and dance and singing, that was everything you wanted to do. You never had a plan B. Um, I didn't actually want to sing and dance at all. I only ever wanted to be a presenter. Oh. But the easiest, oh, right. in those days, it was easier to get a job as a dancer um, to get your equity card. Mm. And you couldn't work with that an equity card. So it was a bit of a, you know, a round circle. You had to have one before you could do the other. And my first job was with the Crankies. And I was uh, just 16 and they had to sign a special contract to um, look after me and, and say that they'd care for me while I was in Jersey. <laughs> and I was over there for four months. No way. So when did the yeah. uh, tight fit audition come about? Was that soon after? No, I'd been dancing um, for about four or five years before that. And at the time I auditioned right. for um, tight fit, I was actually recording a Benny Hill show because I used to be a Benny Hill girl. 
So I was on set um, with Benny. I'd been for this audition and I got a phone call to say that I definitely got the job. And I had to ask Benny if I could leave the Benny Hill show to join Tight Fit, to which he said yes. <laughs> and I didn't think I was ever going to be back on the show. But when Tight Fit split mm -hmm. up, my mum got a phone call from Benny Hill saying, is Denise there? And I thought she was joking. <laughs> anyway, I ended up back on the Benny Hill show. So, um, yeah. you know, it was, it was fun. I mean, the business yeah. has been very good to me and I've got yeah. no complaints at all. If I had to do it all again, I would. Yeah, so we like to hear. We're going to go into uh, the next song. I love this one, Fantasy Island, uh, which came after The Lion Sleeps Tonight. Now, this video uh, looks so much fun. Was it really fun to record? Yeah, we were in the south of France on Didier Peroni's Ooh. motorboat. <sighs> Um, having a great time. Yeah, it was the um, kind of job that dreams are made of. I was going to say, I'm dead jealous. Check out this video. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> says uh, what was it like when you first appeared on my favorite show top of the pops well i'll tell you a little secret because the first time we went Ooh, to top of the pops um steve was actually going to wear his loincloth on the first ever show we did and he was petrified to wear it he lost weight at the thought of it but the director came down when he saw him in a loincloth and said, what on earth are you doing? You can't wear that on the top, <laughs> top of the pops. Go and put some clothes on. So we had to go and get some different clothes. So he ended up with khaki trousers, a string vest and a headband. However, when we got to number one, this was weeks later, um, the director mm. actually said, hey, you're number one now. You can wear the loincloth. Hey. Steve oh, wasn't any he happier because he didn't ever oh. want to wear the loincloth. But he does oh, look back him. now 
and think, yeah. actually, it's so memorable that I wore a loincloth that everyone talks about it. So he's happy he did it eventually. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's glad and to hear he doesn't wear the loincloth anymore. Just to confirm, okay. And yeah. how big is the studio for Top of the Pops? Because I'm a bit obsessed by uh, the show. Is it small? Because a lot of people have said it's really small, but it looks quite big. It's it's not as big as you thought it was, but mm. they have a lot of up and down cameras that kind of did right. all different views. So it was very creative in the way that they worked it. Uh, and of course it was full of um, professional dancers that were supposed to be the crowd um, that would be j jumping around behind everybody and, and clapping and, and screaming or whatever else they needed to, to do on the pro. In fact, mm. Julie used to be a dancer on Top of the Pops before she became part of Type Fit. No way. Fun fact yes. there. We didn't know that one. I mean, I yeah. love some of the pops. I think we should bring it back. I want to start a petition because I feel like Thursday night, seven o'clock. Uh, we need that in our lives. We need to know what is number one. Like I need to know. I, I have no idea yeah. what's number one these days. So um, they were good times, weren't they? Well, we're part of a, a, a thing called the Heritage Chart. And you might read. This, uh, yes. And this Thursday, we're filming with Mike Reed a Top of the Pop style show with Ooh. our new song. So that's going to be interesting. Oh, we'll have to watch out for that. And a big shout out to Mike Reed. He better be watching this evening, otherwise he'll be in big trouble. Now we're going to go into uh, your next song, Secret Heart. Uh, what were your memories of this song, Denise? Well, again, a bit of a glamorous job that was because we went over to Italy and we went to Venice and we spent quite a few days meandering through the streets and the waterside on boats of the beautiful mm. Venice. So, it, you know, we were up really early. We were up with a lark and we went to bed late at night because of the way that they filmed it. But um, it was, you know, the whole of the tight fit experience then and now yeah. is just great. Yeah, wonderful. We're going to check out the video right now and we'll see you after. <laughs>
your new song, Fall Out, which I have been playing uh, this morning and uh, it's given me loads of energy. It has got that classic uh, tight fit sound, hasn't it, even today? It has. And, um, you know, w when we first heard it after we'd recorded it, we honestly couldn't believe how great it sounds. And it's not that we sound great, but the song is so upbeat and the way that they've blended all the voices together. I defy anybody who didn't know who it was to say that, oh, that's three old people. <laughs> Because I don't think it sounds old at all. It, you know, in fact, Steve's voice sounds so young um, on his uh, mm. verses. It's um, I think I think we deserve to have this one. But I, we were surprised because we thought, oh my, why haven't they given it to somebody else? What are they giving it to us for? And wait till you hear the next one. I was going to say how. Oh, oh, okay. You have to come back and tell us about oh, that. But how did this song actually come about? Um, well, Energize uh, approached us through the lockdown and asked if we'd be interested in recording an album. And obviously because mm. of lockdown, we couldn't go anywhere and do anything. So when it started mm. easing off a little bit, um, we had a chat and we thought, well, we've got nothing to lose. And we didn't expect to be given such great tracks. And we've done about half the album now and we just cannot wait for the next record. I mean, this record is fantastic, but the next record is also fantastic. Um, and yeah. we honestly think that maybe they should have given it to Steps and they, they think that my, maybe we're Steps because it honestly, it just sounds as good as the Steps yes. song. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and I'm, I'm a big Steps fan as well. I, I absolutely love it. And how do you go about when you do perform this? Who does the choreography for it? We kind of do it together. Um, you know, we we've got, we don't do too much. We just kind of make sure we're all in sync, just so that it looks like we've practised rather than it looking like we just thrown something <laughs> together. So, we you know, we don't want it to be too perfectly slick and we don't want, we're not trying to be steps, but we just like it to be slightly coordinated. But something you probably did, never knew, Hayley, mm. I actually auditioned for Bucks Fizz. Did you? Yeah, with my brother. <laughs> But we I did. knew. I knew you were friends with Jay from the Fizz, but I, I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Yes. But we knew, my brother and I knew before we went in that we were too tall. So when we went in, we were kind of like moving down. So we didn't look too tall. But we were always, I mean, I'm five foot seven and my brother was five oh. foot 11. And the two they'd already picked, um, right. Rita and yes. Mike, we knew were quite small. So it was never going to be. But yeah, I've known Jay since I was about seven. I was gonna Her mum and dad I, used to perform with my mum and dad. Yeah, and she I think she went to Italia Conte. I think so. Did yeah. She? yeah, yeah, but not at the same time as me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's, it's a small world, isn't it? Um, but anyway, we want to check out uh, the video um, to fall out. And if you haven't heard this song, uh, you are in for such a treat. Enjoy this. Uh,
Cause it's crazy to stay There's a firestorm coming Coming, coming, coming was your best memory uh, from back in the 80s? Best memory? Actually, it's not going to be anything to do with tight fit. I auditioned to be in a television show called Sorry. And I was told right. that it was to be the part of um, a barmaid. So I dressed to look the part. I arrive at the audition. Even my knock was a barmaid knock. And my parents had a pub. So I was convinced I was going to get the job. My knock was like this. Um, and when I got in there, the director looked at me, handed me the script, and he was kind of looking at me a bit weird. And he said, you're reading for the part of uh, Sally, the librarian? I couldn't have tried harder to not be a librarian. Anyway, I didn't get the part of the librarian. However, they did call me back um, a month or so later, this is classic, to play Scylla, the mud wrestler. <laughs> So I'd obviously got, got something um, got some in thing, the right yeah. lines. Brilliant. Um, I oh. didn't have to mud wrestle. Yeah, um, just to I confirm. just had to. <laughs> I just had to get covered in mud and look like I'd mud wrestle. But um, oh, you know, brilliant. I've got so many fond memories of yeah. my early days. But unfortunately, so many of the people that I work with have died. Um, Morecambe, Morecambe Wise, Kenny mm. Everett, Benny Hill, Les Dawson. Um, you know, all those yeah. people I had the pleasure yeah. of spending time Legends. with on stage. Yeah. So I, I yeah. keep saying to Steve, watch out, because you could be next. Oh, no. But yeah, what lovely memories. Working with me. You, no, you must have incredible memories. Um, and it's good to talk about it. We're going to go um, into the next question uh, from Jean, who says, uh, what is your favourite song from the 80s? Well, that was a difficult one to answer, because... You know, there are so many great songs that bring back different memories of you know, my youth. Um, however, when I married Pete um, at our wedding, I actually used all of his song titles to do my speech at the wedding. So it was things like, when I first met you, I knew I was never going to give you up because especially oh. for you, we'll be together forever. <laughs> so I literally used all of these um titles and I really love especially for you and at my mother's 60th birthday Pete and I actually sang this to each really? other but we changed the words um, <laughs> and it's a comedy moment to say the least but I, it, I've got fond memories of yeah. um, of those days sadly yeah. we're, we're divorced now but you know we've got two lovely children Tony and Charlie who are slightly older now 30 and 29. Oh really god eh? yes uh, but my youngest daughter's getting married this year. Our younger wow. daughter's getting married this year. Oh. At St Paul's, nonetheless. Oh, how wonderful. Um, oh. Because her father's got an OBE or whatever he's got, it means yeah. that she's able to get married there. So that's all very exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, it so really a big is. year ahead. Yes, absolutely. Well, we're going to play out, uh, especially for you. Uh, I'm excited about this. Uh, right now on the show, and uh, we can't wait to catch up with Denise after. Especially for you. I'm going to go into a song choice to finish from you. Uh, Eva Cassidy 
Over the Rainbow, such a beautiful song. Why have you chosen this one for us, Denise? Um, it's a very emotional song for me. I just love Eva Cassidy's voice. She sings from the heart and any song she sings, you believe every single word. But I particularly love this song from way back when it was first done with Rose Royce. Um, it's just one that evokes so many memories for me of my teenage years. So I just love her voice. We're going to play that out on the show uh, right now. But we want to remind everyone uh, to check out your single uh, Fallout. You can stream it, can't you? Pretty much on all major platforms, right? As far as I know, yes. But of yeah. course, they can also vote for us on the Heritage Chart. Yes. UK. And we're at number six this week, but get us up to number one. Ooh, we want you at number one. OK, we're going to put details on the screen below um, of how you can vote uh, for Tight Fit in the Heritage Chart. Uh, we're going to make that happen. We have to make it our mission, Denise. We want you at number Thank one. Thank you. <laughs> well, this has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, chatting away. Uh, we'll have to meet in real life at Phil's, won't we? Like, won't we? Oh, gosh, yes. I've only ever seen you on screen. <laughs> We are real people. Uh, well, this has been really uh, great to catch up, put the world to rights and have a trip down memory lane uh, and make sure you check Anna out... Ella Bailey's. Ella Bailey's. We'll have to make sure that they get Bailey's in for both of us uh, because I do drink a lot of it, but I'm, I'm trying to cut down. Uh, but yeah, make sure you check out uh, Denise's uh, Memory Lane 70s show as well. Uh, but thank you so much, Denise. It's been wonderful. Thank See you. Soon. It's Denise Waterman, everyone. Bye. So a huge thank you Denise what an absolute pleasure uh, to have Denise here on tonight's show and thank you to you at home for supporting the show it is so appreciated thank you now I will see you same time same place next week and we're going to leave you with Saturday night song of the week hi there my name is Ricky Walker I'm a musician from Manchester and the type of music I specialize in is soul rap and R&B my musical passion started at the age of six where I learned how to play the piano and this led me to the path of producing and writing my own music, which I'm still currently doing. And this includes a few videos to the songs that I've recorded. Besides producing music, I've also helped children within the care sector, and I've done this for over four years. My role included helping them overcome obstacles, being a role model, and helping them learn how to read and write, and just giving them a new passion and light and hope, which is music. And this led me to my current job, where I now teach music, to teenagers within further education and you know I'm fulfilled by that job because I'm giving back but overall music will always be something that I that means a lot to me and I will continue to do I keep on gravitating towards that body Cause you really got me captivated The way you're feeling inside has got me sick of waiting I don't know what this is but let's not make it complicated I wanna tell you how I feel in so many ways But inhibitions come alive when I just hit the page Thinking I don't like you cause I don't give you praise Actions speak louder than words now look the level's raised I love it when your eyes roll back and you're ripping on them sheets I can tell you're feeling me, girl you love that inner peace Now you're questioning me, thinking holes are on my line Trying to psycho on a lie, saying now I'm giving signs If I didn't like you I wouldn't even waste my time I'm too old for playing games I ain't trying to read your mind Girl, you gotta understand Yeah, that everybody's different But that don't mean you gotta keep your distance I'm like, what goes up Must come down Gravity's pulling me closer to you right now Right now Can't wait for you to come around Saying what goes up Must come down Gravity's pulling me closer to you right now Party with ya, don't wanna argue with ya. We say some dumb shit. I don't hold no grudges to think that we're done with. But they be guessing wrong, cause we was arguing all up in a restaurant. That's why I cut the drink, I couldn't even think. Let me be real with you, I really thought the shit would sink. Back of my mind, girl, I was hoping for a change. I don't recognize who we used to be, but that's okay. You trap to can pass me by. Gonna miss the times and we just used to fire. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, you're always on my mind. You know. If I didn't tell you, don't think I could live Don't wanna be the song, wanna always contradict You just wanna see me for one more time Be honest Ooh. Like what goes up, must come down Gravity's pulling me closer to you right now Right now 
Can't wait for you to come around Say what goes up, must come down Gravity's pulling me closer to your right now